Hi and welcome to a new vlog. It's Thursday the 14th of September. I know this because it's my youngest son's birthday. He's turning 16 today. So we've done the whole present cake and singing this morning. And now I'm off with a friend to see the uh, Gabrielle Coco Chanel exhibition at the v and I'm super excited. I'm sure it's going to be really amazing. v and they put up the best exhibitions in, of this kind. Just absolutely stunning. So I have high hopes. And I was thinking of taking you with me. So uh, yeah, let's come along. Apart from that, we are very close to launching our next product in Elizabeth 33 and um, yeah, it's busy, busy, busy. So I'll see what I can show you, but uh, yeah, I'm super excited for that as well, but it is quite full on. So one thing that is more or less totally gone for me since launching Elizabeth 33 and that is hanging out with friends. I never initiate a friend meetup because it just feels I don't have the time and the list is constantly so long and I want to work with Elizabeth 33 but something had to give. So socializing with friends is more or less gone. So when somebody asks me and if it's not full in the diary on that day I will always say yes because I don't initiate anything uh, at the moment, uh, but I mean, I'm building a company, so this is how it has to be. And I'm sure everybody understands, but yeah, it's uh, it's certainly different from before. Um, I'm really happy I'm doing this when I don't have young kids, because I don't know how I would do that. Uh, how do you do that? I, I know lots of people do, but uh, for me, I could not have done that. Welcome to the Victoria and Albert Museum in South Kensington in London. So Gabrielle Chanel, like the mythic Diana that we can see here, embodies strength, independence and timeless beauty. So Diana the Huntress symbolizes freedom and fierce determination, much like Coco Chanel herself and her groundbreaking approach to fashion. Fashion fades, only style remains, was her famous words. And I have to say, after having seen this exhibition, it's all style because nothing fades. I could easily wear any of these clothes to dinner, to a party, any day, and I wouldn't look strange at all.
The exhibition closes the 25th of February, but I just went on the website and it's more or less sold out. I did overhear some people saying they might extend it, but I don't know. If you get the chance to go, go. It is really big, much bigger than I thought it was going to be. And I'm in total awe of this lady. The styles, the enormous creativity, absolutely fantastic. I wasn't a huge Chanel fan before, but after this exhibition, I'm in total awe. This month we got loads of birthdays, we got celebrations, we got dinner parties and I have no time. So I'm going to show you sort of a pudding dessert or a little celebration type dessert that I make when I really don't have any time and it's super yummy and you can make it as homemade as you want or as away made as you want. So to make the Speedy Gonzales version of this, I buy already made meringue nests, but any meringues will do. And then I buy a small double cream. How much is in here? 300 ml. Um, and then on top of it, I also buy a squirty cream. And if I did it from more scratch, I would just buy one 500 ml double cream and just whisk everything. But this is going to be so, so, so quick. And also two of these uh, Greek yogurt pots. So all in all, that would be about 300 ml. Gram, <laughs> 300 gram. And strawberries, a little bit of honey. I'm going to have a little bit of vanilla in the cream and some strawberry jam, a tiny bit of icing sugar on top. That's it. Whisk up all the double cream. Ready in a tick. Mm. Add the whipped cream into a mixing bowl and then add in the same amount of Greek yogurt so it's half and half mm -mm -mm. if you just do it with cream in the middle it gets quite boring the bit is Makes it a bit more interesting. Then add about one to two tablespoons of runny honey and about two tablespoons of strawberry jam. And then just blend it carefully. And very important to taste a little bit as you go along because it would be sad if you didn't get it just right. <laughs> Any chance. Then just take your meringues. And scoop out the mixture and put it. Oops, it is. This is not so easy with just one hand, but I need to hold the camera. And then just put it on top of your meringues. This is not so easy with one hand, and also, well, I don't know how it would be easier with two hands, but I have to look through the viewfinder here. And then you could just slice up a few strawberries and put on top there. Sometimes I don't even do this actually. You don't really need it. And then put your lids on. Press a little bit. But this is to show you of what I do when I really don't have any time whatsoever. Whoopsie daisy. 
and then I just use a dairy cream can and then do this. It's nicer if you do it totally, you know, from fresh, it looks nicer. But sometimes you have to do what you have to do. On top of here, I'll put a strawberry and then some icing sugar. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like and subscribe and come back next week for another video. Until then, have a fab time and I will see you then. Bye.